be a fun idea to check out Miami's popular Cuban spot on Calle Ocho called Cafe La Trova, which is known for its Cuban-inspired cocktails and Latin dishes. Right, it was voted best Cuban restaurant by Miami New Times and best bar by Eater Miami. So we had to check it out. Yeah. If you haven't checked out our other videos in Little Havana, I'll link it up above. But we've done some other spots in Little Havana. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps out our channel. So what's cool about Cafe La Trova is when you walk in, it's very like Cuban inspired. Yes. Throw back to 1950s. Right. a good spot for both tourists and locals. If you're coming to visit, it's a nice spot to check out. And if you live here, like we do, and had never really just decided to go over there. Mm -hmm. Now, Haley has been open for like a year. So right. mind you, it is a new spot. But in the back, they have an 80s bar, mm -hmm. which is where we actually hung out because the place was so packed that yeah. we couldn't go anywhere else. Just know that if you're gonna go on a weekend- Make reservations. Try to make reservations, yeah. yes. It gets very packed. <laughs> So the 80s bar is actually inspired by Miami in the 80s, right. like the Cuba culture in Miami. So it's very so, Vice City, uh, by, yeah. you know, Scarface vibes, I guess. There yeah. was a briefcase in the corner of the room that had like stacks of money and like drugs. And, and right. <laughs> their drinks are definitely the highlight of the bar. I know that we haven't honestly gotten a chance to try their food. Right. Except for one appetizer, yeah. but we were definitely focusing more on the cocktails. They do play live music. I don't know if it's an every single day thing or if it's on the weekends, but we were there on a Saturday. <laughs> Cruzan single barrel rum and a cigar, mm -hmm. which is really cool because we've never been to a bar that serves you coffee, alcohol, right. and a cigar. All together. <laughs> Very Cuban Miami. <laughs> $28, which mm -hmm. I mean it's a little pricey but like right. it's gimmicky you know I'm not sure if the cigar was you know I don't know anything well, about you, cigars but right if you count the price of the cigar the price of the alcohol and the price of the, the coffee is what three dollars right right so really it's the alcohol and the cigar and I think it's mainly the alcohol yeah that but even then right. you're paying for like a, a cool concept <laughs> I mean uh, the alcohol and it was, fun. was really good and it, and it tasted good with coffee. And it tasted right. Yeah, we, we noticed it complemented each now, other. Now we were inside where we couldn't smoke the cigar. So I'm not sure how much, you know, all three would have, you know, blended But they'll together. cut it for you. Yep. They'll, yep. they'll cut it for you and we eventually at the end went outside and tried the cigar. <laughs> so now we're outside and we're gonna try this cigar. Like a real Cuban. They got little spots here to sit down and smoke some cigars. I don't know anything about cigars, but I... You know, Still it's, fun. It's fun, I guess. Do you even know what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it. How do you do it? You just puff? Yep. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. We also tried a really cool drink there called La Chancleta, which Chancleta is sandal. So it's served on a chancleta. <laughs> we got our chancleta. <laughs> it's good, but it's like. Don't know how to say the alcohol that is served. I think it's, it's a. Cachaca? I think that's a Brazilian uh, type of rum or something. Right. I think so. It's something called. I'll write the word here. With ginger honey syrup and lime juice. And the drink itself was fun. You definitely, again, are paying for the whole gimmick of the fact that it's served on a, on yeah, a sandal, on right. chocolate. The drink is $12, pretty reasonably priced. Especially for a tourist spot. Yes. But it's also known to be a local spot, so it's the two worlds combined. They have some other fun cocktails, like the Gibson, Cosmopolitan. They have a Mai Tai, Painkiller, all the traditional drinks that you can want. We decided to try the Jamon Serrano Croquetas, mm -hmm. which in Miami, croquetas are very popular. If you don't know what a croqueta is, it's basically like a, a fried pastry 
like filled with filling. Minced <laughs> meat, usually. Usually minced ham. That's the most right. popular one. But there are other ones. They actually had a paella flavor one and a spinach and feta. We went for the jamón serrano mm -hmm. and it was served with a fig jam. Now, this was $10, which I don't think is that expensive, but considering that you're just getting like four five. little... I think, I think it, was it was five. It's good. It's small, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> considering that you're just getting five little tiny balls of... Right. So if you go to your local bakery in Miami, any bakery that sells croquetas, you can get one for like a dollar. So for the price of 10... And they're much larger. And they're They're bigger. like probably three of these combined into one. Right. Now, they're cheaper because they're also cheaper quality. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're paying double because it's more better quality. I just wish they were actual sticks and not the balls, you know? Yeah. They were good, but they weren't anything oh, everything this was world. Great. I mean, the, the service, the, the bartenders that were helping us the out. The bartenders were good. Were, all of them were great. There were yeah. like three that kept like helping us and yeah. they were all cool. You know? No, the bartenders were great. I still think that if you wanted to try a croqueta, do it like at a ba any bakery in mm -hmm. <laughs> Little Havana. Right, you, don't you could have, have to... walk, uh, you know, you can go to Cafe La Trova and then walk 10 steps over and you can find, you Yeah, know, for a dollar. For a dollar, so, yeah. They also had empanadas, they had like ceviche, they had all the traditional, you know, Latin yeah appetizers and then we never really went into the we never got a table so we never actually ate food but um i mean like entrees you know mm -hmm. but uh, we might have to go back and try the dishes there yeah. just to try the food definitely we uh, heard good things about the food right being cuban and living in miami and having a place like this which can twist like the modern you know world of it to the antique classic yeah. era of it is very cool and i think if you're coming to visit miami it's definitely a cool spot to check out you might as well check out Little Havana in general. Little exactly. Havana is a spot you gotta check out. I say start your night off at La Trova and then work your way down 8th Street. Yes. To go down to Ball and Chain and all the Ball little Chain. dance clubs over there and a whole bunch of new stuff as well. There are so many spots to check out in Little Havana We're that have we to have to go day. back. Yeah. yeah. They obviously have a coffee menu, full coffee bar type yeah. of thing. So, but I still suggest that if you're gonna get coffee or croquetas, go to your little bakery down Little Havana and any Cuban bakery will Unless serve you. Unless you're gonna get a special coffee because they had one, an option there where you can get some with brandy. Okay. You know, that's, yeah. you know. If you want a spiked coffee. But if you just want like a cafecito. 10 yeah. feet over to the next little plaza. And there are literally like hundreds of right. bakeries <laughs> in Little Havana. So just go to, support one of those bakeries, get a cafecito, get your croquetas, maybe even get your empanadas there and tequeños and all that stuff. But when you're at Cafe La Trova, you probably should get a cocktail and probably get more of like a Entrees. entree and yeah. get the full experience and not waste your money on something that you can get somewhere else for the basic I mean, I can't speak concept. for the empanadas. There was an empanada there that yeah, looked good. We didn't try the empanadas. So, Maybe next knows? time. Yeah. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would recommend and toodaloo! toodaloo.